give yourself an opportunity to change your life. You open a website and these are the first words you see. I believe you are immediately going to fall into one of three camps. The first being, okay, this is a scam. That's the camp that I'm in. The second being, oh cool, I want to change my life. And the third being that of neutral curiosity. This is the website for a company called Validus. They've designed the logo and the entire page, in fact, to be what I assume is a subtle attempt to give the reader a sense of wealth but it turned out to look tacky. You have their gold logo with an arrow going up. You have the bright lights of a big city in the background with the tops of luxury yachts at the bottom. This looks like bait. So who is Validus and why are we talking about them? Well, I made a video recently discussing the crypto queen, Ruja Ignasova. She was part of a Ponzi scheme called Bitcoin, then later on created her own Ponzi scheme called OneCoin. OneCoin made her $4 billion, got her connections with terrorists, the single largest Bitcoin transaction in history at 230,000 Bitcoins handed over by one of the richest, most powerful sheikhs in the United Arab Emirates, and then she vanished into thin air one day, never to be seen again. Ruja did not make OneCoin alone, she had partners, some of which came with her from Bitcoin. You see, in the underbelly of the world of fraud, you'll tend to find the harder you look, the more it is often connected. You'll recognize names across multiple businesses, and these people are like cockroaches. They will never stop until they're caught and jailed. For whatever reason, despite being provably associated with sometimes dozens of fraudulent investment schemes, some of these guys just escape under the radar. They're never the front man of the biggest frauds, usually in the background or operating with smaller sums of money in regions that have very poor regulation. And that's why we're here today with Validus. So what are they doing this time? According to the website, Team Validus is an online trading university founded to teach people underserved by financial institutions around the world. They believe that financial education is an important differentiator, laying a solid foundation for people to take charge of their own finances and strive for a better future. Their solution is allegedly to create a platform where members can have a chance to change their lives along with a first class education. And they're not lying here, they are teaching you a valuable lesson. They are teaching you if you buy into this or anything like this, you will quickly learn that you fell for a scam and that no one is going to help you get rich. Life is not a movie. You are not the main character. Wealth is not easy to come by. And there's a reason the average Joe is not elevated to the upper echelon without significant luck or hard work. What this about section says when you cut through the bullshit is that they're selling you the method of becoming wealthy by taking your money and becoming wealthy themselves. But of course, they're not just teaching you because who'd really pay for this? They have to add things on. So you're allegedly gonna get a compound return on investment every week for 60 weeks, which means by the end of it, you're going to earn a 300% return. And this is fairly consistent across pretty much all of these Ponzi schemes. You buy a package for between $50 and $10,000, and these packages will allegedly return 300% on that. How? Well, of course, it's because they have fantastic traders who will exploit the markets. They're definitely not exploiting you. They're exploiting the markets that they know so well. They're so good that they can turn $10,000 of your money into $30,000 in 60 weeks. But instead of doing that for themselves or their own fund, turning themselves into billionaires across a handful of years, they instead are so generous and they believe so fervently in making your life better that they're going to do it with your money. Give them $50, they'll give you 150 back. Totally believable, right? Well, if that didn't do it for you, of course, fitting with the theme of making sure they're as blatant as possible, they only accept money in cryptocurrency, aka the unregulated financial transactions that they can easily move cross-border with less chance of ever having it seized or reversed if in any way things were to go badly. As we always say, these scams exist to do two things in their presentation. The first, to make it sound too good to be true, so they can prey on the most vulnerable and gullible of people. And the second, to weed out those who would otherwise cause them a headache. They purposefully make it obvious that they are scamming you because you are not their intended audience. If you were to ask questions, if you were to cause a fuss, they don't want you involved. They want the people who they can get. And if it wasn't bad enough yet, well, here comes the pyramid scheme, because what better way is there to scam people 
than to recruit the people you scammed to become the scammer themselves and maybe get their beak wet along the way for the loyal deeds. Let's recruit John and have him convince his elderly parents to invest their retirement fund and then we just make more money overall. As is tradition with this, you attain certain ranks of scammer throughout this business, ranging from Jade, where you've recruited two affiliate investors that have generated $2,000 of quote, downline investment, all the way to the crown diamond tier, where you've managed to generate $16 million in downline investment. And that term, by the way, downline investment, is such a disgusting one. I think it only exists really in the multi-level marketing and pyramid economy. It literally means the person who registered in the company underneath you, aka how much money did your victims make for you. Now, of course, this comes with its own reward. You earn 10% commission for dragging your friends and family into this scam. But not only that, you can win prizes, much like a pop-up in the early 2000s internet. You can get an Apple Watch or an iPhone, a Dubai Retreat, a Rolex, even some cars. If you're one of the top scammers, you can get a BMW 3 Series, a Mercedes-Benz E-Class, or a Lamborghini Huracan. So who exactly is promoting and perpetuating this scam? Well, they are names that have been around the block a few times, and yet dodged the cell that they will hopefully be inhabiting soon. Mansoor Tawafi and Dr. Powies Dawood. Two people who were involved in one coin as well as multiple other scams. The way by which Validus originally came about actually is that they recently acquired another scam company called AU Lives, thus creating a Voltron of Pyramid Scheme products by lifelong grifters. As you can see here, totally trustworthy people. Dr. Dawood appears to be enjoying the over $400,000 a month he raised via recruiting people into OneCoin, these being the eyes of a man that enjoys the finest Peruvian powder that money can buy. He looks like some guy I used to see at the pub every weekend that we called Dangerous Dave because he was always bagged up out of his mind. Also reminiscent of the famously nose-candied boxing promoter Kala Sauerland, who makes sure every time he's on camera to be beaked up. And yes, that is all slang for people doing cocaine in case I've confused you. As for the Vice President of Sales, Mansoor Tawafi, the website really does him dirty here. For anyone that has an ounce of common sense, these lines of text immediately out him as being a lifelong scammer. I can't imagine reading this and not seeing the grift, but again, these are not designed for me. He has generated nine-figure sales volume in network marketing, aka he's earned millions of dollars from being a scammer. He's the youngest network marketer to reach 12th place in business for Home Magazine's ranking of the world's top MLM earners, aka I'm the 12th best person at scamming people in this magazine about scammers. And he has eight years experience in network marketing as a networker and manager. Which of course essentially just says, I've spent eight years doing this and for some reason, I'm still not in prison. There's also this CEO of the business that is listed as Howard Friend. He's supposed to be the genius trader that can earn all investors a 300% increase on their investment. However, according to his history, he's never done this in his 30 plus year career as being an analyst and a real trader. Perhaps Dr. Dawood has been sharing that sniff with him and unlocked his third eye, allowing him to outperform every market analyst and trader on the planet while still not being wealthy enough to stop scamming people and enjoy his own wealth. The only other person listed on the official site is Tej. No, no second name listed, just Tej, probably saying that wrong. Apparently she's the director of marketing and has been a trainer in FX trading while being a spokesperson for many events. My favorite aspect of her involvement though is this nugget of gold. Tej has a special interest in the world and is very knowledgeable about the market. Fantastic. She has a special interest in the world. Can you substantiate that one? No? All right. Guess I'll take your word for it. Her being suitable for the job due to that extremely descriptive and helpful quality. So there we have it. Career scammers pulling yet another scam using the foundation of previously collapsed scams. And it's frankly disgusting that they can do this for so many years and still continue. And for anyone out there who believes this or similar projects are your shortcut to financial freedom, I reiterate, there are no shortcuts. The world does not work this way. No one is going to give you wealth that they instead could keep for themselves. No trader can guarantee you a return, let alone a 300% return. The truth is a simple Google search away. And of course, there's going to be people who undoubtedly say, nobody falls for this, right? You know, what's the point talking about it since it's so obvious? Well, for two reasons. One, because it's interesting. And two, if nobody fell for this, it simply wouldn't exist. The fact that these people are consistently making new scam companies is evidence that they are making money from it. Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, they keep these guys in luxury lifestyles 
and there's a reason they're so prevalent because they work it's the grift of a wealthy man in a nice suit in a lavish location surrounded by beautiful women a rolex on his wrist sipping champagne sitting next to a yacht that just melts the brain of some people they see that lifestyle they see these guys living that lifestyle and they think it's because they know what they're talking about. Realistically, it's because they're con men and they make their money from the people who put them on a pedestal and think that they're in it to help them and they're going to impart the wisdom on how to do this. And essentially, they are teaching you how you can do it. To just have no scruples, have no morals and just to scam people, which is exactly what they're doing. But to be honest, they almost got me with this one. I almost got convinced when I went to the bottom of the website and I seen that they're partnered with NBC News, The Daily Herald, The Digital Journal and Market Watch as well as a quote that says, take the time to understand what lies ahead and what project we are embarking upon. They say the absentees are wrong. Let me say that the absentees will be in tears. So take your place in the Victor team. And there we have it. Straight from the Victor team's mouth, the people who don't get scammed will be in tears. So thank you to BehindMLM.com for putting together such great information on these scammers. Very useful website. They basically chronicle and track some of these MLMs. And check it out if you are interested in more details. See you next time.